Uh, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves here. Okay. So if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself first. I'm Siren Ray. I'm Josh from Project Nerd, and we're here at Planet Comic Con in Kansas City, the 20th anniversary. Um, it's so old. I know. It can almost drink on its own, which almost. is why Boulevard is right next door to us right now. Um, Have you had any of the beer yet? They, I guess it, we've been sitting here for a while, but they said they can't sell it until five. But uh, our, our Project Nerd drinking aficionado, um, he's been biting at the chomp, or biting at the bit <laughs> to get over there and get some Boulevard. But that is a Kansas City staple. It is. I'm yeah. from Omaha, so I don't. I mean, we get it a lot in Omaha, so sure. it's close enough. But for instance, Dale uh, is from Detroit, and I don't think Dale knew that Boulevard was from Kansas City, did you, Dale? He's shaking his head. No. How many fucks do you give? Very little. Okay. Dale. Wait, can I cuss? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. We're okay. fine. We're fine. Are you so? Do you like enjoy? Speaking of beer, are you a beer? I don't want to say snob, but I mean, I feel no. like that's kind of the word for it, like... Not at all. Like, <laughs> I usually don't drink beer. I'm a rum person. Okay. But I've played enough beer pong that I'll just swill up down. Like, exactly. Like, I will like, drink beer to get drunk. I'm not going right. to be like, this is an IPA from Honduras that's you been need to aged let it for breathe. three months. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. don't care. Dale, at one point in time, brewed his own beer and was definitely a... This is an IPA from... I never did that. You, what's an IPA stand for, Dale? Indian Pale Ale. Exactly. You know who doesn't know that? People who don't drink IPAs. Did you know that? I did know that. Dang it. I'm sorry. It's okay. No. I, that, I was a cocktail waitress for like three years, so I know oh, that. Oh, and she had to know it. That's, yeah. the, that's the thing. Yeah. But, uh, so why don't you tell us about what you're wearing today? I am an Alolan Vulpix. Icy as all can be. Exactly. So icy, it's it's who I am inside. <laughs> That's someone's like, do you want this one of these little sweat or wristbands? And I was like, yeah, sure. And they're like, what color? And I was like, black, like my soul. Because <laughs> I felt like that would be the appropriate thing to do. Absolutely. So, um, have you played the new Pokemon with the Alolan? Pokemon? I have. Yeah. Are you excited for Sword and Shield to I come am. out? Oh my god. So I'm really, I, I'm really enjoying Let's Go on Switch. I love the Switch experience. So yeah. the fact that they're releasing it on Switch makes me so excited. I'm so I enjoyed Let's Go for lots of reasons. Yeah. I also did not enjoy Let's Go for lots of reasons. Agreed. And those reasons are why I'm so excited about Sword and Shield. Right. Because I was like, yeah, I like the Pokemon Go dynamic. It's cool and all, True. but it would be a lot better with like the traditional game mechanics. I agree. And then they're like, oh, let's just come out with a new one with new Pokemon and the regular game mechanics. Did you get the Pokeball Plus? I did yours? not. No? No. That was by far one of the worst controllers I've ever <laughs> bought. And like, I've tried to play like Halo with a Guitar Hero controller before. What is so. the matter with you? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus did not intend for that, okay? Have you seen the guys, though, that can, like, they're like, oh, I soloed Blood Rain with a Guitar Hero 3 controller. <laughs> like, what? How? But, uh, yeah, I mean, Pokemon, like, the plus ball was just like, oh, let's give you a joystick that also is the button. So yeah. if you're getting frustrated, you're, like, clicking things that you're not supposed to be clicking. <laughs> and, oh, uh, man, that... It could have been a lot smoother, I but I, I really enjoyed it. Did you beat the game on I did. Let's Go Plus? Yeah. Elite Four and everything? Be yes. Became the champion? Yes. Awesome. If you had to pick... So that's 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 a good question, now transitioning. What would be your starter Pokemon that you would choose from the original? Oh, well, I always choose Charmander. I'm a fire person. With an icy heart. You guys heard this. <laughs> Fire person, icy if, heart. If there was an ice starter, I'd pick the ice starter. <laughs> but there's not, so fire. I feel like, is it, is it wrong to think that all these ice Pokemon have like burning hearts of fire? Aww. That like nope, head cannon accepted. Yeah, like I and like that's it. what keeps them going. I like, like it. They might be cold on the outside, but it's a fiery cold, like blue <laughs> fiery cold. 
<laughs> Fiery Cold. That's right. It should be the name of like your screamo band. Did you know we're a science podcast too? And Are I'm you like, really? Fiery Cold. <laughs> That's yeah. That that is actually a true sensation. Like there are times where you can essentially put your hand in something that's so cold that it feels super hot. Yeah. Um, and vice versa. Uh, is it, it because you're dying inside? Is that? The I mean, it's it's your body being like, hey, cut this out, or you're gonna <laughs> die, like or hurt yourself a lot. Um, I thought it might be. But they've also got some really cool things. Like you can do the, like I don't know if you guys have seen the videos where. The dude like sticks his hand into that little concoction and then gives it a shake and then it all crystallizes on his hand. Uh, it's an endothermic reaction. So if you leave that like those crystals on your hand, uh -huh. you'll start to melt your skin. So, oh, um, well you don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, no. But the only videos I see are people are like, I'm gonna put my hand in this, and then once you agitate the water, then it like crystallizes. Okay. <laughs> people are smart. So back to what you're here for. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I could talk all day. But um, cosplay. How long have you been cosplaying? All right. Uh, that's always a complicated question because I always made my own Halloween costumes and stuff like that. So making stuff has been since the itty bitty days, but uh, six years for events and okay. things like that. So professionally cl cosplaying. Six yeah. years. That's, yeah. that's what we'll call it. OK. Um, even yeah, though I don't want to say that people who don't come to conventions aren't professionals. There's plenty of people out there that could right. be professionals that are awesome at what they do. We just got to separate Halloween costume from... Exactly. It works, it works. Exactly. Um, what's your favorite costume you've ever made? Katana. Okay. Katana. One of my favorite characters. I've made two versions. I'm going to make the 11 one, I think, too. So. Awesome. Yeah. The Mortal Kombat 11, where hopefully we, fingers crossed, can get shaggy in the, the Mortal Kombat number one. So, one of the things we do on our podcast is we quiz Dale on his pop culture knowledge. Uh, a lot of times that seems with, fair. Yeah, it has to do with memes. Um, so when I said shaggy, Dale's like, shaggy? Why does that even matter? Because he has infinite godlike power. Duh. Yeah, he's one of the strongest people in the world, Dale. Yeah. yeah. Duh. <laughs> Just like Scooby Doo? Like, yeah, that's Shaggy. <laughs> no, not that Shaggy. Not the, not the wasn't me Shaggy. However, depending no, on who you too. ask, yeah. same person. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, do you have pictures and prints from Katana over at your booth? I have sold out of those. Sold out yeah. of them. That's a good problem to have. It is. Uh, we're, we've resorted to just giving stuff away, which oh, we yeah? probably should not be doing. Um, I am resisting the urge to just like shove a whole bunch of Tootsie Rolls in do my mouth. Do you want some candy? By all means. Not during an interview. Afterwards, I'll take some. If but... you do it during the interview, just get it close to the mic so we can do like an ASMR <laughs> Tootsie Roll experience. I can do that. Like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you guys hear that? That's wrapping for the Tootsie Roll. <laughs> The cotton candy is free to go, mm. but this is our Tootsie Roll. I, 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 I've never done the, the AS, ASMR videos, just I see them all on the internet. That's another trend that if I was going to quiz Dale on something, that's what I'd ask him about. They creep me out. People whispering like really freaks me out, so I, I can't do it. I can't watch those. So it's weird. There's an app that I use that I'm not proud of um, <laughs> that... On one of the videos they show you, it's like a, like a 360 3D video or 3D sound thing. Okay. And then all of a sudden, it's the Billie Eilish uh, Bury Your Friend song. Oh, but all like, right. Yeah, and then you get the song where it's just like, come here. Like, it whispers in your ear. Scares the bejesus out of me. Yeah, hard like, pass. I know it's coming every time, and it's just like, come here. And I'm like, nope, no. nope, done. No. Um, what booth are you at? I am at C78. C78 in the cosplayer I, alleyway Yeah, there. the cosplay showcase. Cosplay showcase. Yeah. I didn't know what they called it this time. I mean, we're in the entertainment zone here. Uh, nice. The, the Pez Center, the I Pez. would call it. Yeah. Are you a little upset you didn't get any Pez? Because I would be. Uh, it, I am. Iggy, if there's... Oh, okay, I was going to say... Right? Yeah, I was like, if there's Pez's and I didn't get any, furious. 
Because I have my Yoda Pez thing. Oh, it's in my car. Never mind. I didn't drive here, but I have a Yoda Pez <laughs> dispenser in my car for situations. Just like, like this. Yeah, exactly. Hey, by the way, here's some Pez. You're in the Pez Center. Thank you. And then open up Yoda's head. Yeah. Um, so cosplaying for over six years. Yes. Um, been to this convention a couple times, obviously. Or so I actually went to this convention on year one. On year one. I haven't missed a year of Planet Comic Con. 20 years ago. I Yeah, I was like a little wee babe, but yeah, I've been here since the beginning. That is fantastic. I wish I knew about comic conventions back then. Like, I knew that conventions existed. Right. But I've only been in the con scene for like six years now. Um, and. No, I was a fucking nerd. I collected comic books and I was a little Trekkie and. I had to go. Let it out. Let all the nerd out. That's what we're here for. So, we definitely all appreciate nerd dumb oh, and nerdiness and uh, however you want to show. So, what originally got you in? So, you comic book collecting? Yeah. Um, movies? What, what, what about nerd Ooh. movies? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, when I first saw The Fifth Element, I was like, I have to do Diva of Lava Laguna one day. I want to be her. I want to sing like her, and I want to be blue like her. Has that come to fruition yet? It has yet? not. That not was yet. a tough looking... I, we got to get you a voice box, too, to yeah. get that like, super low note that everybody who's watched The Fifth Element and seen the diva yeah. perform it's like oh, and then all the way up yeah, I will I can, do that I can do the low spot That's. What, I'll just stand behind you I'll start yeah. low you meet me in I'll, the middle and then keep going we'll do high. the high together perfect awesome yes. I love it this is happening <laughs> I was, uh, I'm trying to like my problem is I always try to figure out the hard stuff like how do I get the elements actually inside me so that when I die later on they can have them collapsible ones <laughs> Have them be folded pieces of paper that when they pull them out, I love they, it. They come back into <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just put a spring perfect. coil in there and just push them down. Dale's got the best idea. Done. Yeah. Be, or easy and convenient. I was picturing oh have you like lay on a table and then do one of those things where they they put the arm around you oh, and like pull it, it from underneath the table and then. But then you'll get that weird scene where he's like up to his shoulder <laughs> in your belly, like, oh, where's it at? And pull out this giant Perfect. stone. The elements, they're inside you, just in case they you are. guys did not know. All, just the four elements. That's not the, the only thing inside yeah. me. No organs, just the elements. <laughs> With a fiery heart. Fiery, frozen, ice cold heart. And the elements. And the other ones. Um, would you like to plug any social media that you're on here? I, I'm i on all the main three, the Facebook, the Instagram, Twitter. I'm really active on Twitter because I love shit talking. Yep. But I'm at Siren Ray on everything. Um, I do have a Patreon and a store because I like to feed myself sometimes, so yeah. that's nice. So you sell prints on the store I do. and stuff like that on Patreon as well? I do. Awesome, awesome. Do yeah. you do any crafting for hire or anything? I could. could. Yeah, I've done commissions before. I usually don't advertise it because I like working on my stuff. It's very passionate for me and I hate to mess up. You know, you never know what's in your client's head. Yes. So it's always difficult. And you get that little piece of heart in everything you do, especially when it's for yourself. You're like, oh, I'm going to rock the F out of this. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. So I've, I've dabbled in some cosplay sometimes. Uh, I saw you do a Zap Brand again. He, he's gotten around. <laughs> he's uh, gotten around. Hey. Uh, <laughs> but um, do you have any? My favorite thing to talk about whenever I was cosplaying um, injuries. Ah! That it's something that gets glossed over a lot. But it happens all the time. I don't think anybody who's ever made a costume has never... If you don't bleed on it, it's not official. So... I got this this morning from opening the blister pack to my contact lens, so... Oh, just throw off the lapel. Yeah. <laughs> Whose idea were these stupid lapel mics? I know. I'm just kidding. They weren't stupid, Iggy. Thanks for inviting us to the con. Uh, <laughs> Is he going to listen to this? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, okay. At some point in time, he'll be like, I'm not stupid. <laughs> um, but, yeah. But, okay, so 
worst accident yeah, the soldering ever. Iron. Soldering iron. Like, did right it stick the in the leg? Yeah. Oh yeah, my god. Right in the leg. I still have a scar. Oh, like, like I can just imagine like. Have you ever used like a, a heat knife through yeah. like styrofoam? I love those. I would assume that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Like, uh, nope. I that's, mean, on the one hand, the wound was cauterized like right away, so that was nice. It's like a lightsaber wound, yeah. Exactly. It leaves a wicked cool scar. You get a voice breather box thing. It and was fine. Yeah. So the reason why we had to switch mics halfway through this, and apologies for anyone who's like, what, that's a weird jump cut. It's because we're going to drop our album. <laughs> it's because, yeah, we're about to do a hip-hop night here. Um, we're not. But good. not at all. I'm not. I, I have some pretty good rhymes, uh, but they're all emo and... Just, you know, back in the day when that was cool and all. What other rhymes are there, though? There's really not any. Exactly. I don't I don't want to say this, but I feel like if I were to, like, rap, it would all sound like Hobo Johnson and all his sad stuff. <laughs> and I, I just don't want to do that. It's Perfect. already been done. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so this con, we found out that we drove all the way from Omaha and forgot our power cord for Ooh. a USB audio interface. So That's rough, guys. So we're rocking a background... Er, a backup audio interface that's powered by a 9-volt battery. So uh, the reasons why when we lose battery connections on our lapel mics is because we also lose battery on the other mic. That so, makes sense. But uh, thank you for sharing all of your fun adventures in the ASMR with the <laughs> Tootsie Roll. I'm sure our audience is going to love that. Like, you have to tell me if it does well, because then I might have a new avenue of money. Yeah, you know? I'm going to be really upset if the mic died like while she's like playing around with it. <laughs> um, but so for those of you guys who didn't catch it earlier, uh, we are uh, again going to plug her social media here for her. Siren Ray on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'm at Booth C78 for the rest of the weekend. And Siren is really hard to spell. Because I tried finding it. It's like the X-Men siren. The uh, X-Men siren. S-I-R-Y-N. Exactly. Yeah. That I was like, sirens, like a regular siren. Nope. No, wrong. sorry. So thank you again for being on the podcast. Thank you. Everyone go check out her booth. Please.